Good morning, friends. It's Sammy back with another episode of The Daily Dash. That's right. It's everything you need to know from around the world and in my life, straight from my car dashboard to yours. Well, I am now trying to do another Periscope. We're doing a live two-screen version. If you watched yesterday, you may have been like this. I thought I could turn my phone sideways. Obviously, I couldn't. So we're going to do another double recording just to make sure nothing happens, which is why I'm not on the dash this morning. So first of all, let me give you the news you need to know from around the water cooler. Uh, the police are closing roads as the manhunt continues for the two escaped convicts up in uh, New York. We have the police officer that was called, if you saw that viral video about the pool party that went awry, he has now apologized for the way he handled himself. Uh, Bill Clinton now saying that he will stop taking on paid speeches if his wife wins, and I don't even know what the count is right now for the amount of people in the presidential race for next year. I mean, it just seems like a crazy amount, and maybe it's just my frugalness, but where are they getting all this money to campaign? Because a lot of them are... They're senators, governor, like they're in the public office. They're in a public office already. So does that mean they're taking time away from the job that they're supposed to be doing? Does that mean they're campaigning and fundraising? And if so, couldn't we put that money to better use? Anyway, wouldn't be a Daily Dash without a little bit of a soapbox, right? And uh, finally, for those of you here in Nashville or not in Nashville, the CMT Awards were last night, and Carrie Underwood took home the top honors for her video, uh, Something in the Water. So that's your news that you need to know about. Uh, you may have seen the little subtitle ticked off. I'm not angry like I was yesterday about spammers, but my daughter had a little bit of an incident last night. So first of all, my kids fell asleep in the car on the way home yesterday. Um, camp went well for my daughter. My son had some issues. Um, if you've seen any of my Instagram, you know that he has some luxurious locks. Both of my kids do, thanks to their father. Not me, obviously. Not luxurious. Uh, and so I guess he's been being called a girl. Yeah, not so good. Which, let me tell you this though, we teach them, and I don't know if it always happens, but uh, confront the person that you have an issue with first, then go to uh, authority in that situation, either a teacher or a counselor, whatever it is. Then obviously, you know, we talk about it and we get involved if we have to. So uh, a couple of days ago, he said someone called him a girl. He wears his British headband. They're calling him the British Bulldog at a uh, football camp and someone said oh when I first saw you I thought you were a girl and his response was are there any girls in this camp which I thought was quite witty and not rude anyway so uh, but I guess it's been going on so we he didn't want to go back we spoke with the camp counselor or the coach this morning uh, just to say this is what's going on do you have any suggestions so we'll see how today goes uh, my daughter did great at her interview yesterday, 45 minutes, pleasant smile on her face, sat up straight. We're trying not to get her, you can't see this, but we're trying to get not to get her to sit like this, but to kind of get shoulders back. Uh, she answered questions with more than yes or no. She told stories so and was honest about her apprehension, so I was very proud of her about that. And then they fell asleep on the car ride home, 9 and 10-year-olds. That doesn't happen very often anymore. So that was a nice kind of chill afternoon, it turned out. Uh, and then, oh, the local junior high was having their girls' tennis team like a summer practice. So a friend of ours was going. We went. Kids ended up playing for like an hour and a half. It was great, except when we got home and my daughter went to get in the shower, we heard the shriek from upstairs, and we came running upstairs, and there was a tick on her abdomen. I wanted to bring it to show you that's so how I was going to do it here, but knowing me, it would like Get, yeah, it's in like a thing of alcohol. I don't know. There was peanut butter involved, tweezers, magnifying glasses, matches. It was crazy. She does not do well with, um, yeah, pain and such. So, anywho, we got it out. So, the tick is now off. That's why we're ticked off. Yes, so she survived. We all survived, barely. And now we're back at camp this morning. So, that's about it. I can't even think about what's going on the rest of the day. I'm a little tired still. Um, I've got some medical things that I'm looking into um, for my throat. I'll tell you about that tomorrow because we're over our three minutes that I try to keep it to. So I hope you guys have a great day wherever you are. Make sure you make it great.